Hi everyone, it's Susan. I'm here with a video today that's showcasing some new products coming next week from Catherine Pooler Designs. It's called Celebrate Spring, and I'll be playing with some of the products in the Magnificent Mum Bundle. It is so pretty and cute and fun, and this isn't all of it, but it's all gorgeous. I forgot to hit record on this first part, but what I did is I used the background stamp called Coming Up Roses, some WOW embossing ink, and some WOW opaque bright white super fine embossing powder. I embossed it onto a piece of um, watercolor cardstock. I just used Canson cardstock that I had in my stash here and heat set that, and then I'm gonna do some ink swishing. I chose do -Si do Minted Green Tea and Spruce inks to work with. it. It's a combination I saw a while back. I saw, I don't remember who did it, but I remember writing it down and thinking, I have to try this one day. I love this combination. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, and then I'm going to, like just for the first color, I'll show you. And then I'm going to speed it up for the rest of the video because you don't need to see me do it over and over again. It's the same steps. What some people do, and I've tried this, um, is instead of using a large block like what I have here, they will take like a sheet of acetate add the ink to the acetate and the water and then take the acetate to the paper and you're seeing exactly where you put it. I've done that before, but I tend I don't know why I don't do it that often. It works, it's great. I always tend to just use the block. It works for me, so. Okay, so that was the dosi do dough, um, and now I'm using green tea. And instead of me jibber jabbering through the whole thing, I'm just going to speed up the process, like speed up the video and play some music and I'll come back in a little bit and chat with you. So now that this is all dry, it's time to make a card. I pulled out my trusted postage stamp die set and was going to use the large stitched rectangle from that set. And then I realized I could get the large one and the next one down, the medium one, both of those cut from this one piece of um, ink smushed paper. So instead of one card, I'm making two. I decided I wanted to add a few splatters to both pieces, so I put the spruce ink onto an ink block, added some water, grabbed a little paintbrush, and just splattered just small dots, nothing big, just small brush, got small dots. As I was playing with the papers here, trying to figure out what to do, I had an idea that that little piece there on the left, the little panel, I could die cut the word mum from that and essentially get three cards now. Um, and that's how, that's what I decided to do. Decided to do some direct to paper here with a dosi -si do ink. I wanted to die cut the word mom again and use that piece to put onto the large panel you see there. I love the way that uh, dosi -si do just pops off of that panel. So I'm about to do some more direct to paper because I want to the do -si do color behind the mom there on the third on the card on the left. And you'll see me make a mistake. I leave it in there for you to see because I, I make mistakes. Um, at that little O, the middle of the O, I glued the wrong one in there and so I had to switch it out. Not a big deal. Once I get it all put together properly, I trim it all down and then put that over onto the card base.
So now it's time to put it all together. So I adhered the panel on the left with some craft foam and put that onto the, it's a top fold card that I turned in sideways. So I guess it's a side fold card, not your typical one, but, and then the middle one is adhered directly to the card base. And so is the mom is adhered directly to that panel. Now for the third card here, I started out with um, the mom cut from the technique piece and built the card around that. But you'll see in the end, I don't like it, so I switch it. But for now, we're just going with, you know, it is. So I'm doing some more direct paper with more do -si do Love that color. And then I'm going to bring back the Coming Up Roses background stamp and emboss that in white onto the dosi -si do color. Uh, I first cut the panel with my postage stamp die, then added the ink, and then did the embossing. Um, one tip, uh, I learned this, well, I don't know where, I don't know who taught me this. I think it was, I think it's Christina Warner. I saw it on her um, blog, on her web channels, was that when you do direct to paper, Test out your paper first. Make sure it's dry. Just throw some ink, um, embossing powder on there, and if it sticks, it's not dry, right? So then just brush it off, dry it some more, and do that again until it's dry, and then do your embossing. Whenever I have a panel that I've worked a lot with heat embossing and it, or water and that, and it's warped, I find using larger pieces of craft foam work really well to help it lay flat on a card. Next, I grab my trusty little sidekick here and die cut the word mom out of some craft foam because I decided I wanted to pop it up off that panel. So this card is gonna have a little bit more dimension. It's gonna have two layers. You'll see though, this is the one I change later. Tell me, Leave me a comment below telling me um, which one you would have, if you would have kept it the same or changed it the way I did in the end. Let me know. When I do this, you can see there that I leave the word in place in the craft foam and add the glue to the craft foam, then bring the die cut word to the craft foam. It's just easier. It doesn't lose its shape this way. And if you let it sit for a couple of minutes, it's also easier to separate. This next part took took a long time. I didn't know what I was doing. I had all kinds of ideas and then I changed my mind and then I tried this and then I didn't like that. Some days are like that. What I did do though is I used the fresh picked floral stamps and dies and I just die cut a whole bunch. Some of them I added color to, some I didn't. And I, I just moved them around until I was happy and then I adhered them down. I do have a tip for you though, and this, this works almost all the time for me, is when I get frustrated with something and it's like it's just not falling into place, I take a break. I walk away, I go make a cup of tea, um, you know, go hang out with my husband for a bit, something. I just take a break and then when I come back and you don't, and you leave everything where it is on your table and then when you come back, sometimes you see it in a different light and it's like, oh, now I know what I want to do. So taking a break is good.
So thanks for hanging out with me today, you guys. It's been a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the process. I know I sped up through a lot of it, um, but I repeated the same steps over and over. So I'm hoping you can see that in there. So this, this is the card I switched. Do you see there the mom? I die cut it out of white paper and put it on top of the technique piece. And I think it pops so much more. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks for hanging out with me, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.